I'm just making this video real quick to go over VCDS Lite and uh, well I'm using an Audi A4 uh, convertible, the 8HE model um, but uh, this is using the cheap uh, VKK or whatever it's called uh, eBay um, VACOM uh, device, it's only like 20 bucks and it actually has a lot of functionality in VCDS Lite um, plenty for what I want to do which is reprogram my radio to accept an auxiliary source, the Bluetooth module I connect to it, and also to turn off uh, seatbelt chimes because those are annoying. Um, yeah, this is a, the one that's in here is an Audi Symphony 2 Plus. Um, that's the uh, the radio or the head unit. Um, but if you come in here, and uh, we have all these modules, and the Rostec website has a lot of information. For example, this is the page for everything regarding uh, the Audi uh, Cabriolet 8HE. Um, and there's all these different tabs or, um, or modules that you can program. Uh, but the ones that matter for me were the instrument cluster and the radio down here. But if we were to come into the radio, for example, and start communicating with it, and my radio now says diagnostics on it, or here's DIAG dot. Um, but anyways, if you come to recode, this code is what represents everything. Um, and you can correspond that to here, generation 2 plus, this is the radio that I have, symphony 2 plus, same thing. This is what everything means there. Anyways, taking that from the stock coding of the 065012 to 0750102, changed it um, to accept the, uh, the aux input when you hold down the CV button. And that's what I needed to do. Um, that's my case, you might have to do different stuff, but nonetheless you can do this with the VCDS Lite, which is what I wasn't sure about. Um, the other thing I was able to do, oh, radio just restarted when I left that. The other thing I was able to do was um, in module 17, the instrument cluster. Here, I was also able to recode this. Uh, AHE is mine change some of these settings. The only one I changed though was um, the seatbelt warning to zero, which is the second number here at the end, which I changed, as you can see, zero, and that works fine. Um, and yeah, that's what I needed to do, but uh, some of these things you can't, you don't have the option to do, but uh, for the most part, it gave me all the functionality I needed for 20 bucks. Uh, that's it.